you as a dispensary owner prepare for that conference by doing three things. And I want somebody to put it in the chat line. It's three things you must do to prepare for that, that conference. Are you ready? The three things you must do is invite. That's number one. Number two, invite. And number three, guess what it is? Invite. That's how you prepare for the conference. You invite, you invite, you invite. Invite everybody you know. Some of you heard me talk about the fortune is in the follow-up, right? The fortune is in the follow-up. Y'all heard me say that before. I talked about it this morning. If the fortune is in the follow-up, this is a great opportunity for everybody that you had touched, everybody you told about the, the, the CBD, everybody you told about Wakana, where they said, not yet, not now, um, we'll say, check back with me. Everybody that was on the fence, you have to invite all of them to this conference on October 16th. And then all you have to do is, well, after you invite them and they stay and they go through the conference, this next thing you have to do is what we talked about earlier is follow up with them. <laughs> Are y'all seeing it? You got to follow up with them. What did you like the most? And things of that nature. Why is that? Because right now, this is the moment where if you're going to make it, listen, if you're going to maximize your potential to make money in Wakana, you got to do it right now. You got to do it right now. Here's another thing that's going to happen. Um, you heard Dr. Diamond Mooney talk about us with the founding members pack. Well, we're going to do that founding members pack, but we're going to introduce that founding members pack at the Legacy Conference. We're teeing it all up for you because there are many people that say, hey, you know what? I don't, um, I may not only want to get into it and have a dispensary, but I would like to have a share. I would like to have, uh, make an investment uh, for, and, and, and we know we don't make investments. We buy the founding members pack and part of that founding members pack, they're going to get a 1%, they're going to get their share of 1% return, right? Of, of the overall revenue. People want to get in the industry. Some of them may not want to work, but they want to get in the industry. And for them to be able to get in the industry and get their share of 1% of revenue of one of the fastest growing CBD companies in the market, they will do that. But they won't do it if you don't invite them. You must invite right now. You must invite. As a business owner um, that was in retail business, like I said, we had to prepare. One of the things you want to do is you want to make certain you have, you want to make certain that you take advantage of the different sales packages and things of that nature that's going to come up. All of this is going to help you get gain momentum in order for you to really, really capitalize on our biggest selling month of the year, which is November. Are you hearing me? It is November. And so you have to, you have to start preparation. You have to start planning now. And that means you got to invite, invite, invite. Well, how many people should I invite? Well, I don't know. How many people you want on your team? How many new customers you want? So if you want 50 new people on your team, if you want 50 new customers, then you probably need to invite at, at least two, 300 people. Well, is that unrealistic? It may be for some of us. For some of us, it may not be realistic, but for others, those that's really, really hungry, they can invite 100 people. They may be able to figure out how to invite 200. Why am I giving that number? Because there's a 20% closing ratio. The industry says it's a 20% closing ratio. So if you, want, if you want to get 20 new people on your team, that's 100 people. That's 100 impressions. And I'm saying you don't have to do all of the work. All you have to do for this particular conference all roads leads to the legacy conference. And we assure you, y'all know there's no party like the Wakana party because the Wakana party don't stop. Oh, we assure you it's going to be effective. It's going to be epic. And people are going to want to be a part of what it is that you are part of. But what you must do is you must invite, invite, invite. And after you invite, you must follow up.
follow up, follow up. Get ready for get ready. And get, listen, this time, every time, this time around, this time of year, I may put some money aside because I want to take advantage of the products. You want to be able to take advantage of, of the various discounts that's going to happen. Why do you want to take advantage of that? Because you're going to, number one, you're going to, it's going to get counted towards your value. But number two, you're going to get it at a discount price, which means it's going to help you to maximize your profits. All of those things, for those of you that are selling through, through vending and all of those things, this is important. So we have to prepare. We have to prepare. Um, we, we, we have to prepare. And so, Ms. Phyllis, you want to share something with what, with what I was just saying? I just love what you were saying, but I just want to remind the people that, uh, you know, like you said, I'm just going to reiterate what you said. I want you all to really act like the CEOs of your company that you are. Uh, thinking of if you had a retail store, what would you be doing now? These next three, this last quarter of the month, guys, is going to be worth um, at least 10% of your overall business. I mean, you can go to Mooney again and find out this time last year how his business tripled compared to what it was doing before. And all he did was went to work. And so everybody in this industry knows it's from event to event to event. Hey, you got the legacy conference coming. Last year, we did something different than we did with the Founders Pack. This year, we're doing something different. We're kicking off the Founders Pack at the legacy. So that gives you enough and people get excited about that legacy. I'm gonna have Mooney tell you what is going to be in that legacy package that everybody is going to want some. So then when you come do the legacy, you're going to take that momentum straight through because I'm sure there will be a set amount of time that if somebody buys that legacy package, that that deadline, they might get a better price than if they waited to the end. But mind you, you can ask Mooney, you can ask uh, Dan, last the last day of the month, we were all on that phone to the very last minute, Pacific time. We took 12 o'clock to Pacific time so we could get orders in, and that was what was happening. And so this year, you have a little more time to do that. And so I'm really saying to you, if you came into this business to make a difference and to make some money, then this is your time of year. And so you have to take that event and then carry it on out. And I'm going to tell you, as leaders on the team, you should be gearing yourself up to saying, hey, Christmas is going to be Christmas Eve and Christmas. It's not, if you know, I, I did. I met Melissa on December the 6th, 2006. Everybody would have said, hey, we're not going to do no business because this is Christmas. I worked up in that new brand new business. I worked up into Christmas Eve. After that, I did take off, but I worked up into there. And do you know what? I did $29,750 in a month when most people take off. So you have to decide whether you're going to maximize because if you were a retailer, Dan, I'm would you be that. working this way? You wouldn't have no holiday. No, you no, know, wait, wait, let me tell you. When I launched, when I launched um, the Chick brand, when I launched the Chick brand, um, what I did was I launched it right around um, September, Labor Day. I started teasing with it, teasing with it, teasing with it. And then I went into retail and I, me, was sitting at the spot working from 9, 8.30 in the morning all the way to 10 30 11 o'clock at night seven days a week in order to get that business and make certain i capitalized watch because everything is psychological i capitalized on a season where people have made a conscious decision to spend money absolutely <laughs> y'all see that now <laughs> you you got to understand that this is and and we made we made in, in that time period of launching a brand, we made about $65,000 just in launching it in less than four months. Brand new brand. But most of that, 40-something thousand of that, 
was right in the season, right. where, in that slot, where people mindset is to spend money. Mm -hmm. And they'll spend money on something in that season that, that they will money. not spend money on in previous seasons. Mm -hmm. So guess what, y'all? I don't know if y'all know this, but mo just about every one of us got a cousin that smoked something. Watch. <laughs> watch, watch now. Just about every one of us got a cousin that smoked something. So here's what you do. You go identify all your cousin them that smoked something, and you grab that Delta 8 pre-roll, and you give it to them as a gift. It's a gift. I'm going to tell you how, how my, well, I can't tell you who taught me how to do this, but I'm going to tell you how they started selling crack. They gave it to him as a gift. And when they gave it to him as a gift, you give that Delta as a gift and you let them do exactly what Miss Phyllis is doing. That's right. First of all, let me tell you, I want to help y'all out. I want to help y'all understand some stuff. Here's your standard client objection to people that smoke weed. They're going to say that that CBD stuff is not, don't do nothing for me. I need the real thing. That's what they're going to say, right? So when they say it, you're going to, you're giving it to them. You want to make sure you give them the right one, the Delta 8. You want to give them the Delta 8 free roll. And you're going to say, all I want you to do is be careful not to smoke the whole thing. Only take about two puffs and leave it alone. They're automatically, you're going to play on their ego because they already think that they their tolerance level is bigger absolutely and, and as a as a result they're going to go to smoke it and then you're going to allow the delta a pre-roll to do what it does and yes. even though it was a christmas gift for them the reality is it's a merry christmas and a happy new year for you because they're going to come back buying, buying, buying over and over again. Are y'all understanding what I'm talking about? And let me just get in here and say, you all as leaders, and I count you leaders because you're here on the training call, you need to engage your team during this time so that you can keep them committed to this time. You know, the holidays get people thinking, oh, I should take off. No, we're business people. We're CEOs of our company, and this is our biggest payday of the year. So you need to have little contests with them. I mean, it doesn't have to be major. Beverly did an excellent event the other day where she gave her uh, distributor certificates for people hitting bronze, for people hitting um, you know, uh, silver and whatever, but it kept people together. And so you need to keep your teams together. And those, these pre-rolls, those a little gummy samples and little can be stocking stuffers, get cre stocking stuffers, get creative, you know, letting it, make sure you're out there sampling. So when it's time for people to buy gifts, they're thinking of your gummies, your pain cream, your pre-rolls, all of these things are going to important and you have all the tools to work with think of little contests that you can have hey this week how many people can get five new customers two new distributors get a, a contest maybe you want to even get with your team and say hey guys let's sell enough and each of us give x amount of dollars and find some cause that we can a bless during this Christmas season, pay it forward, you know, but do things as a team. So I'm going to tell you there's something that's going to be in that, um, in that uh, founders pack, and I'm going to give it to Willie. And where's Dan? He just left us, but I know it must be doing something important. But it's Willie, just tell what happened. I'm going to wave this little bottle. Now, this isn't the size of the final bottle, but I'm going to just tease a little bit, y'all. This right here was in this bottle that's coming, that's going to be in the founder's pack is avocado oil. That's not it. Hold on. That's it. Grape seed oil, right? And Delta 8. Infused. Infused. Combined together as a cooking oil. So y'all might be like, well, what does that mean, Minister Moody? Let me tell you. I want you to imagine whatever it is that you like, 
whether it's brownies, shrimp, steak, halibut, lobster, let's just look at the butter. And you infuse that butter with a little of this, just a little, like a, a teaspoon amount. Y'all, <laughs> I'm telling you, Grand, I had an It will never be the same. <laughs> Look, your lobster, your lobster and your life will never be the same. <laughs> You're going to want to repeat that night over and over and over again. So absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about feeling great, good, full, pleased, fulfilling. Every positive word that you can think of came in a bottle in the Founders Day pack. Just That's not, right, not this Erica. Bottle. Yes. So, so let me just say this before we go. I'm going to give it back to you all and get out of the way. You got a call to action, you guys. Yes. Your call to action is getting as many people as you can to the Legacy Conference. Those tickets need to be gone because each of you on the phone right now, and it is 13 of 17 of you, you need to at least say, I'm going to have five people at that legacy conference. That's, no, 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 no. Okay, you can say, but I, I'm, so I'm let, let me Let if me show them. five people, I would be really happy if you all Let me show five. them how these numbers will look, because Dan dropped some numbers earlier. All and right. he said 65,000 in a short period of time. He said four months. Let me give you all a realistic perspective of what this month and next month looks like. This month last year, Previous to this, this month, Minister Mooney was a ruby, 25,000 in sales, along with the whole team. Because this isn't just Minister Mooney, and I want you to realize this. Okay, Phyllis made a phone call during this month, last year. The whole team combined, 50,000. Now, y'all might say, so, but that, that just didn't mean Minister Mooney was uh, Emerald. That means there was some sapphires and some rubies, and they on this call. And I'm glad I'm looking at the names of the people that's on this call. So if you look and you're a jay, a pearl, I'm saying, okay, that doubled, right? But let me tell you what happened in the month of November. The whole team combined went from 50,000 to 200,000. 200,000. And that's not just the ministry movement. Pretty impressive. That's any, that's the average person that in men, and y'all can say minister Mooney team, but that's the average person. That's the person who brand new, all of that. Everybody was happy. For so, so with three minutes, guys, and I'm, I'm gonna give it to you. Y'all, while he's talking and closing it out, tell me how many guests you're gonna have at the uh, legacy conference this uh, next Saturday. Okay, while he's closing us out. Please All right, let's put, put it in the chat. Yeah, put it in the chat, put it in the chat. You know what, I think we said it. Um, and Minister Mooney, it's okay to take ownership of your leadership because without your leadership, you would not have made it to that number and the people in your organization would not have made it to that number. But it's important to know it's not about your name, it's about your work. That's right. And so if you guys want to experience that for yourself and you can, let me give you a secret, put in the work. And as you and the, and the way you start the work is starting like Miss Bertha and at ten people and Latrice Levitt she had seven Latrice that's un, that's unacceptable for you I could call you out on the carpet you got to go you got to go bigger than that you need to have 10, 15 people at this Dane blasted legacy conference and so with that being said I'm sorry I could do that with her invite fifty I like that Mary that's what we want to see put in the work if you put in the work you'll be able to get the results. 30 people plus my team. There we go. Now I, I like it. All right, that's it. That's all, you guys. I look forward to seeing y'all at the top. It's time to get ready to drop it like it's hot with Kathy Weathersby. <laughs>